Recursion Basics Recursion is a manner of solving a problem by breaking it down into smaller parts, where each smaller part is solved in the same way. I like to think of it like this. Say, a friend's kid is asking you lots of questions, like, What is 4 factorial? And you're getting tired of all the questions, so you just start answering in a pedantic way each time. It's 4 times 3 factorial. And you've purposely only partially answered their question, so they keep asking, Well, what is 3 factorial? It's 3 times 2 factorial. Well, what is 2 factorial? It's 2 times 1 factorial. But eventually you get to a concrete answer. Well, what is 1 factorial? It's 1. Then finally, the result can be built from there. What is 4 factorial? It's 4 times 3 factorial. What is 3 factorial? It's 3 times 2 factorial. What is 2 factorial? It's 2 times 1 factorial. What is 1 factorial? It is 1. So 1 factorial is 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is 2. 3 factorial is 3 times 2, which is 6. 4 factorial is 4 times 6, which is 24. Each step of the way, the answer was, well, n factorial is n times n minus 1 factorial. And we kept going until we got to a terminating case of 1 factorial is 1. With a recursive approach, we have recursive cases, which invoke our problem-solving algorithm, but with different inputs. For example, what's 4 factorial? Okay, what's 3 factorial? Okay, what's 2 factorial? But we also need one or more terminating cases, where we have a concrete answer to some inputs, like 1 factorial is 1, 0 factorial is also 1. Within our recursive function, we look at the input given and use an if statement to determine if this is a terminating case. If our function needs to return a value, we return that base value here, or if the function is void, we just use return to end. Otherwise, for our recursive case, we need to return the result for the current problem with input n, and then recurse by calling the same function with an adjusted argument, so changing n's value. A lot of people have trouble thinking recursively at first, myself included. Recursion can be good for solving some types of problems, but not everything. Recursion works great for traversing file systems and working with some data structures and other things, where an iterative loop just won't work very well.